So this is the most common question, and I get asked this about five to ten times every day. And I think ultimately the answer is you need to know what you are asking for before any prices can be discussed. So think of it like if you're going out to buy a car, you don't go out and go like, how much is a car? Like you need to know what type of car, what year, what what the performance spec is. You tend to have a picture of what type of car you want to buy. It's quite a uh, a large um, purchase, it's something that you need to think about, it's something that needs to be continuously improved, so you need to have done a lot of groundwork, to a lot of research to understand what it is you want, but also what it is that you actually need and your end users need before prices can be discussed. Whenever you're commissioning a technical project, you've got to think about payment milestones to help reduce your risk um, of getting burnt. Yeah or the project just going really badly. Um, so we always recommend a, a phased approach, so payment milestones throughout. So you'd have a minimum of two, um, I'd say a maximum of four to five, depending on how large the project is. Um, the way that we work is we have a process um, that's done up front called a discover and define, which is a design sprint process, which uh, ensures that you have the right foundations. So that's designed for people that don't know exactly what they want or what they need. Um, so you'd always have an amount agreed up front. It could vary between 10 and 30%. Um, and then maybe on the, on the first build, um, and then on completion of the final build or even submission to the App Store or even release on the App Store. These are all the kind of questions that you should be asking your app developers um, and making sure that you've found payment milestones that suit both of you.